Okay, another test I did today was uh, inspired by uh, Hoppy, who put a uh, ATX power supply to the test to see how uh, it behaves on uh, low voltage. Um, according to the circuit from Dali, this ATX power supply, which feeds uh, the, the system, is running on DC. We have this uh, uh, full bridge rectifier coming from the L4 coil. It's heavily uh, smoothed by the caps. And then there is a, uh, uh, a bulb across it and then it goes directly in the ATX. So I wanted to check if my ATX also can handle this uh, 200, and, uh, 200 volt DC and uh, keeps on working. I have hooked it up now to the normal grid power, the main AC 220 volts for my somewhere there and I've uh, rigged it up by uh, having this uh, power good signal looped and I have a 12 volt bulb here 20 watt watts if I now uh, power on the thing you can see that it's uh, working okay there's also a load resistor here across the 5, five volt Otherwise it won't stay on. So it's working okay on 220 volt AC as expected because it's uh, used uh, ATX power supply. Uh, I will try now to make a 200 volt DC uh, power supply and feed it and see what's happening when I uh, put that on the test. Okay, welcome back. What did I do? Uh, the same ATX power supply. I have uh, again the 12 volt bulb. I have now a multimeter across it so we can measure the 12 volt. I have still the uh, power good uh, signal loop back and I have a uh, load resist on the 5 volt. On the input side I now have uh, my variac. I can variate the voltage from 0 till uh, 250 volt. That goes into a uh, one to one isolation transformer. Which is being rectified by a full bridge rectifier and then it goes to a 40 microfarad uh, cap. And this signal goes in. So we measure uh, the DC voltage coming out of the variac and uh, we can also measure the voltage uh, from the output of the 12 volt. So I am now increasing the variac. And you can see that uh, 12 volt is running. I have 11 volts, 12 volts almost. So this, this is running on DC. Increase even more. We have 230 volt DC at the moment now. The meter is at DC. Going in and uh, this is uh, works normally uh, with this power supply because this the 200 volt DC goes right through. So we can use uh, this ATX uh, power supply uh, when running uh, 200 volt DC. It will uh, supply enough power for uh, a decent load I guess. Okay that was another test I wanted to make and uh, to show you. Thank you for watching. Okay, just to be sure, I also hooked up my uh, red probe across uh, this 220 volt. And the signal looks something like this. Uh, we are at uh, 100 volt per division, so we have 200 something volt. And these are the values. A slight uh, peak up on it, but we have 220 volts. Uh, RMS and peak. So this is the 200 volt DC going into the power supply at the moment at full speed. Okay, thank you for watching.